I'm a little annoyed with it, to be honest with you. I think it's kind of silliness. Please do talk through that, Garrett. Wow. Because you love it or hate it, it's like my biggest thing is I just want to know the backstory. Did they let him go? Did he just like resign because he's like, oh, nobody liked it. So I'm just going to quit. And if that's the case, like that's what pisses me off. It's like everything else in this world. It's like something doesn't go your way. We just going to quit. We're just going to be like, ah, well, I, I can't do any better. So it is what it is. Like, no, no, no. You promised three movies. You need you should be doing three movies. If you yeah. have a story to tell, fucking tell it, man. Don't like give up like, oh, they didn't like it. So I'm just going to quit. Like, that's bullshit, dude. Like, I kind of I'm agree so with tired that. of a, like babies type, yeah. and shit like that. Like whining about stuff. Where it's not fair. Like freaking finish a story, man. Make it better. Like work harder. We're we just going to throw our hands up and be like, I'll do something else. Like, no, no. If it's not going your way, like work your ass off and freaking make something that people are going to like. If the if they didn't want him anymore, fine. But I also think love it or hate it, this story needs to have an ending. You can't end it here and then just like move on to something different when it comes to Exodus and, and Believer just kind of stands off by itself. That's so stupid. If they're going to hire a new director and finish this story, then that's fine. Like go do that. Find someone else and finish this story and let Linda Blair come back and do her thing, love it or hate it or not. It's just to have an exorcist believer just sit there as like a one-off that makes no sense. Is you so know that's dumb. what's going to happen too? What's like, so regardless. stupid? What like story so, what's is the, there to finish though? Uh, I mean, whatever the whatever well, the plan was, like what I mean. Yeah, what are they going to say? Like, end... hey, tell me, tell me the story of the exorcist. Like, what's that franchise about? Well. A girl gets possessed. The mother hires, you know, a, a, a priest to exorcise his her daughter, and the the demon comes back fifty years later. And then the mother of that daughter uh, and her daughter don't talk for fifty years. And then this other girl's the demon blinds the mother, and the daughter comes back at the end to like see if she's okay. The oh. end. Like it's so stupid. It's dumb. Like so, that's, Garrett, so it pisses me off because it's like. That's that's how we're gonna end this franchise. Mom goes blind fifty years later. Daughter comes yes. back. To no, but I mean okay. the okay. end. Like that's stupid. it. Yeah, just fade yeah. out. Go on to the next. It's, like, <laughs> it's, it's so dumb. Like, like, like yeah, I want it finished. I don't care if it sh if it sucks. Like give us a freaking ending to this, and then and then tie a bow on it and say see you later. But you know to just cut it off after you promise. Hey, we're doing three movies. Then shut your mouth and don't say we're doing three movies if we're not going to get three movies. So I'm so tired of people just what because something's hard. Hard, we're just going to give up now and we're just going to quit like it's just everything now it's just everybody's a bunch of babies it's like we need to play and work harder work harder play mix speech mm, Rocky. <laughs> i swear to god that's what i was getting ready to say so but i, I like, mean so like Garrett that basically might... wants it to be like get up you son of a bitch basically but I feel like that's, like just, that's just the world we live like everybody just wants to woe is me it's not my fault and like quit like come on what happened to like i'm you know gonna prove people do, wrong man. and shit like that's so ridiculous you know what and you they said do. what he's gonna go work on a movie called nutcracker like give me a yeah. break dude that's like what, a... you shouldn't have took it on in the first place if you didn't think you could handle it man you know what i mean like you have two more chances to make it better what you're just gonna be like i can't do it like come on <laughs> it's, it's not, not as stupid. easy as the halloween movie it's stupid it's just dumb it's like don't commit if you're just gonna like if it doesn't go the way you want, just like walk away with your tail between your legs. I don't so know if it was that or the fact that Warner Brothers, you know, their asshole puckered because they didn't make nearly the amount of money they thought they were going to make. They could have. Movie. And at the same time, then fine, fire David Gordon Green, but bring someone else in to finish whatever story this was going to tell. Because, you know, to end it this way, it's like, why bring back legacy you know characters? Thinking, like, man, dumb, dumb. I don't care who does it. Just just let's get Linda Blair on the screen and, and finish this damn story. Like Cody Rhodes said, finish the story, man. Not just leave one movie out of a of, out of a trilogy that they never finished and just leave it there and go on and do other things. Like it's so it's just dumb. And then they're gonna be like, what? Oh, just uh forget about that one. Like I hate that. Man. That's exactly what they're gonna it's I so will, but why you mark my words though Greg, uh, and you know what you're probably right but it's like anything else about that movie again but what a big freaking sleep. waste of time when you could go back and try to write a little bit of the wrong and like like they said they have three movies then make the other two better like why just like mm -hmm. walk away from something that you brought these characters back for and be like it's the next big thing oh whoops no it isn't it doesn't count like stupid it's just imagine Hollywood what would happen if they wouldn't have let uh rob zombie finish halloween 2 <laughs> I, mean, I mean it's imagine, just ridiculous man imagine what it, we would have missed out on 
there's so many people it's like look what i'm gonna do we're gonna do this and then they don't do it and it's like don't announce three movies before the first one's done how's that sound and then we can figure out what we're gonna do but instead they had to open their mouths and be like we're gonna do a three picture trilogy and, and then all of a sudden it's like oh no forget it uh it didn't do as good so we're just gonna not dump it's that's the that's the part that pisses me off is it's like this broken promises everybody's eyes are bigger than their stomach shit that's that's what pisses me off is that that's exactly i don't care if exodus believer was good or bad it's like a little Finish forethought it. probably would have gone a long way with that though. Too. Like, the Exorcist <laughs> is not a fucking like, right. I mean, I hate to <laughs> say kind of we'll quote some Bobby the Brain Heenan here. I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so, boys, because sure. the Exorcist franchise, aside from the very first movie that made an insane, ungodly amount of money for not only a horror movie but for any movie in nineteen seventy three when it came out. The Exorcist franchise has never done that well in in the theaters. No. Now, Believer, I mean, for uh, for an average movie, I guess it would have done okay. But you you got to think they have four hundred and thirty million dollars invested mm-hmm. in that movie and the and the two future movies. So Blumhouse is dumb house, boys. Well, just like I said before, that's a that's a stupid. I don't know where they get all their money from. <clears throat> but jesus christ 430 hey, hey, I, you know, million dollars well you know for a fact movie. it's either they finish this one or they're going to just make a different exorcist one and, and like i like we said and pretend this one didn't exist but i mean in reality just bring back the main two characters um or the four of the main characters from this one and do whatever the hell you want with them there's nothing set in stone like it has to go this way change directions but like keep this going so we can figure out you know how this thing is going to end instead of just avoiding it and then going off and doing something different this one just lays there to rot forever and again i see people in the chat like well it shouldn't have been made in the first place well it's too late now it's too late for that to go yeah, it was, back a, it was a dumb move made. from like, the get-go sure I mean, just for the fact that they had to throw down that kind of cash to do i mean it was just the you know it's untested waters the exorcist franchise for sure unlike halloween which is guaranteed to make money. It's guaranteed. It's a you know, it's a money making factory. Uh, May like a cotton company and all them guys got because not only is it going to make a shit ton of money in the theaters, release it in October. They know the formula and everything, but it's continuously. It's what they call like evergreen, right? It's always mm-hmm. going to make money. They're going to make mm-hmm. money digitally on it. They're going to make money on the physical media and everything. Exorcist, not so much. Well, they should figure that out. I mean, with Michael Myers, I mean, what is it? You can kind of create different stories. The Exorcist, well, you have to have somebody the- somebody possessed, right? Like, what other direction are you going to take? So already off the bat, you know it's kind of a risky thing to do, but everybody was like, I can do it. And then what? They, they're they going to be like, oh, no, it didn't make the money. I'm going to, you know why? Because I think sometimes they're focused on checking like 10 boxes before they focus on the damn story of the movie. Right. And it doesn't help it any. And I just think that well, this whole, thing well, about that's, that's hollywood nowadays though. people They've giving got... up on things and breaking these big promises and stuff it just makes me feel that like like who, who are people anymore like they're just gonna like everybody's Holy a big shit. shot Garrett's going down a fucking it. existential rabbit hole it's just, his it's life just over this movie. Norm, man it's like everywhere right. like for instance we see it all the time tony khan like dude instead of oh god here it goes. And bitching every freaking day about things why don't you go make your product better so people want to watch it? Don't worry about what anybody else is doing. And again, that has to do with people freaking everywhere in life. Like, what are you going to do? Something gets a little bit hard, so we're just going to like like scurry away. Like, no, like, why don't you overcome those obstacles? And we just live in a world now where everybody's just so amped to like, oh, I'll just give up. And, uh, you know, well, who, how are we going to find success that way? So it's just like a, a compilation of like everything we see. It's just up oh, here we go again. And now we've got this movie that's just going to sit there forever and dormant. Like, like, Oh, let's just pretend. No, we're not going to pretend it didn't happen. It's like, it's just another stupid thing that they want to focus on. So hopefully they get a new director and hopefully they just continue the story and end the damn thing.